going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Fantasy Football Clowns Podcast. I'm your host, Meej, and today we're breaking down the unfortunate news of an Austin Eckler hamstring injury. Now, it's tough to see this happen so close to the beginning of the season. It is currently Wednesday at 7.30 Eastern, and obviously, you know, Austin Eckler has had his fair share of injuries, but before we dive deeply into this, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe as a statistic that I've noticed is that 80% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you could really do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. And I say we jump right into this. So Austin Eckler, today DNP at practice. He is out with a hamstring injury. Now, It is very early. This literally just happened, so we're not sure how severe the injury is, but we know that if it's a a hamstring tear, that it's going to be at least five to eight weeks, which is, that would definitely be the worst case scenario, right? I mean, we want, he's a first round, second round type of guy. We want him to play. So what I would do is obviously closely monitor the situation and from a waiver wire perspective, I would add Justin Jackson, you know. Um, if you're still drafting, you know, you got like one more day to draft, I take Justin Jackson in like the 13th to 15th round, similar to Le'Veon Bell, like I said yesterday with him. Um, I think Justin Jackson will be a solid RB2 in that offense, mainly because the Chargers have such a great offense to begin with. I mean, they have a great quarterback, great receiving core, and Justin Jackson isn't too bad himself, but we would see him take on a large receiving role. Uh, not not as much as Eckler gets to begin with, but we would see him take on a lot more receptions and probably goal line work. I, I think that makes him a solid RB2 if Eckler were to miss a significant amount of time, but I wouldn't expect too much from him this week as they face a stacked Washington football team defense, so you might just want to wait a week or so. I would still pick him up this week, but you might want to wait a week or so to actually put him into your lineup. I think there are several better options, such as Marvin Jones of the Jaguars. He might still be on your waiver wire, and definitely Jacoby Myers. And if you actually need a running back, as I just gave you two receivers, you can go with Kendall Gainwell or Boston Scott of the Eagles, as I think that they are actually going to see a significant amount of work, even though Miles Sanders is the 1A in that backfield. But we have to see more about this injury that Austin Eckler suffered. This is just an emergency podcast going over the situation, the, the worst case scenario, the best case scenario. I mean, the best case scenario is he plays week one somehow, right? But you don't like to see a do not practice and, and a new injury coming up the Wednesday before the start of the season. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped in some way, shape, or form. I tried to get it out as soon as I possibly could. If you could leave a like, it would be much appreciated. Check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. Thanks for tuning in.